Yes, guys, this is how you get dope at breaking. Be a housewife. Housewife Magneto. Bare feet rocking. Don't be a talking because we're just talking. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Be What Magneto from Now and Never Crew. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys or share with you guys my. I'm an opera singer. The three most important factors. Three. As you can see, I'm on point with my videography today. So again, the three most important factors of battling in my eyes. So let's get right into it. The first factor we're going to go over is body language, number uno. For body language, the number one thing I want to go over with this is confidence. So with whatever we're doing, if it's top rocks, go downs, footworks, whatever it is, poses, anything, we always want to make sure we're doing it confidently, okay? That's super important because it shows everyone around you that you're comfortable with it and that you're confident, you know what you're doing, you know what you're talking about, and that you're ready to be there and you're ready to win. <laughs> Gaining confidence in myself was super hard and took me a long time to get, but it's something that you get from just constantly battling, constantly competing, constantly loving yourself, as good as that may sound, and just starting to be more and more comfortable in your own skin, in your own body. So, second factor with body language is, yeah, eye contact, okay? <laughs> So, for eye contact, it's super important when we're competing or battling anywhere or even performing, we want to make sure we're keeping that eye contact, okay? But after traveling to Europe and seeing more of the Brazilian b-boys, shout out to Brazil, battle out there, I really saw how much their eye contact mattered because when they used their eye contact, it was like a weapon. So really make sure you're keeping that eye contact on your opponent. Okay, so the third one in body language is Energy! If we don't have engaging energy, we can't expect anyone to focus on us. So make sure whatever moves you're doing, you're using your full energy, okay? Whenever you're practicing instead of just being chill all the time, if that's your style, then okay, but you can still be chill and have energy with your movements. Having a lot of energy is super important. So really make sure that you're using your full energy and you're really being confident with each one of your moves so that you're doing it full out. Because if we don't do our moves full out, how can we expect people to take us seriously when we're doing that move or movement? Okay, so second one, originality, guys. I think it's the number one most important factor of breaking nowadays, period, is to be original. Especially fresh off the Europe trip, going to IV and Outbreak, seeing some of the top cats, seeing and also competing in competitions and entering when there's two, at least two to 400 people entering, what the heck's gonna make you stand out in front of one or maybe five people when they're watching 400 people? You gotta stand out. So if you don't stand out, if you're not original, you're probably not gonna make it past the first round. If you film yourself or if you look at yourself ever and you see the moves that you're doing aren't original or creative, then people around you are probably gonna be thinking the same thing. So if you don't find yourself exciting, how do you expect other people to find you exciting? So the first one is cleanliness slash execution. Just try and be smart with your moves. If you don't have a move down and you hit it 50% of the time, don't throw it in a battle. <laughs> or if you do, be prepared to mess it up. And if you mess it up, or if you don't hit it how you want, don't go, oh, I suck on the worst b-boy, I'm bad, I need to quit, this is crap. No, you don't have the move down. So of course there's a 50-50 chance you're gonna hit it or not. Just try and have your moves battle ready and use do your battle ready moves in the battle. There you go. Okay, technique number two, knowing your arsenal and what to do with it. So your arsenal is all your moves and movements you've created and you've been taught that are under your belt, which is your arsenal of moves. There you go. <laughs> so what do we do with it and what are the most important factors to look for in our arsenal? So the first part is adjusting to your location. That means if it's a battle, you should be ready to compete wherever. Whether it's concrete, marley floor, lionel, hard, hardwood, you know, smooth concrete, whatever it is, marble floor. I can, I can just go on with floors forever. I should just be a floor salesman and you know, my life could be set. But anyways, different story for a different time. Now adjusting your moves. You never know going into a competition. So make sure you can hit your stuff wherever and you're prepared for the worst. Oh. Just like location, you don't know what the music's gonna be, okay? It could be something super fast, something super slow, something super whack, something super dope. You don't really know. Okay guys, number three is 
adjustments. Adjusting to your location and to your surroundings and adjusting your moves to any situation. And make sure you're ready to adjust your moves or your movements to any situation with the music. Whether that be fast, slow, medium, or in the middle. Alright? Okay guys, technique number three. So, the third one we're gonna go over is the X Factor. And the first part of that is musicality. So I really, really think that musicality is the freshest and dopest part of breaking just because it shows that adjustment to the situation, that freestyle aspect. That's why if you just watched my video that I just posted, majority of the clips are just me when I've hit those beats in the moment and when I've adjusted to that situation. Just because honestly, if I do a dope set, then it's just a choreographed movement. But if I do something different to the music in the moment, I think that's when I'm, in my eyes, the best. And that's when I think everyone else is the best. Because when you can adjust to that music and hit that beat, in my eyes, there's nothing better than that. Okay guys, so the second part of the X Factor is being authentic and being yourself. Really, for being authentic and being yourself, it means be you. If you're just a happy-go-lucky person, don't go to the battle being like, oh, yeah, uh, take it. Like, what are you doing, you know? Unless you're, like, you're really angry at the moment, then yeah, I get that. But if you're a happy-go-lucky person, why are you dancing fake, right? Don't fake the fun, you know, literally. If you're a funny person and if you enjoy laughing a lot, then why are you battling all hard? That's not you. But like if you have a lot of emotional negativity bottled up and breaking is your release for that and on the floor you want to get in people's faces, do your thing, man. Like embrace that. That's who you are. So don't go on and be like, oh, I have to have, I have to smile and break and I have to be all super happy when I break. No, if, if, if that's your release and if that's what makes you happy and brings you happiness, do you. Do that. X Factor number three. Okay? Again, am I literally the most important part of life period? Having fun, being happy, okay? So when you're battling, if you can have fun and enjoy the moment, however that means to you, whatever having fun means, again, if that's being aggressive, this, 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 whatever brings you joy and happiness in the moment, do that, okay? When it comes down to the bottom line, if you're not enjoying yourself and if you're not happy and if you're not having fun battling, Stop. Like, straight up. Quit. Don't break. <laughs> I'm serious. If you're not, if you don't enjoy battling, then don't battle. There's so much stuff we can do in life. You don't have to be super crazy at this. Like, no matter what people are telling you, if you don't enjoy it, don't do it. If you enjoy this or you love it, show people that. You know, if you're super happy to be there, smile on the battle. There's nothing wrong with that. We don't have to be aggressive. We don't have to be forced anything. Just do you, as I just said but be happy. Because if you're happy in the battle, all the judges are gonna see that, people around you are gonna see that, people are gonna vibe off that, and that's gonna be you, and you're gonna go out of it just regardless of how you did, happier than you did when you were before. So please make sure, please be happy and do you and have fun with it. All right guys, that's all from me. This was B-Boy Magneto from Now and Ever Crew. I hope this helped you out and you guys got at least a little bit from it, or maybe just a smile or a laugh from me. <laughs> all right guys, peace out.